Hello and welcome to Thought for May the 2nd. Our readings are Deuteronomy chapter 19, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and Acts chapter 10. And our thoughts are, your prayers have ascended. Does God hear prayer? Well, yes. But the scripture makes it clear that it depends on the spirit of mind in which prayers are offered. God sees all. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, we read, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. In Ecclesiastes today, we read, Rejoice in your youth and let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your heart and the sight of your eyes. But know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. Chapter 11, verse 19. So, what is the nature of the things we rejoice about? Remember the parable Jesus told about the son who asked for and received his share of the inheritance and rejoiced in squandering it. Luke chapter 15, verses 12 to 13. A remarkable man who was seeking the right way to rejoice was none other than a Roman centurion. We read of him, Cornelius, in Acts chapter 10 today. He was a man of prayer. He was seeking a relationship with the true God, the only God, and prayed continually to God. Verse 2. He received a vision and is told by an angel, Your prayers and your arms have ascended as a memorial before God. Verse 4. Does God receive our prayers like that? Are we generous in giving alms? He is told to send men to Joppa and bring one Simon who is called Peter, verse 5. And he wastes no time in doing this. The events which follow are also a learning curve for Peter. It had not entered his mind that a Roman centurion could be saved and put on the name of Jesus. After hearing the testimony of Cornelius, Peter declares, Truly, I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. Verses 34 and 35. Peter declares to him the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, explaining that to him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Verses 36 and verse 43. At this, the gift of the Holy Spirit falls on the hearers, and this leaves Peter in no doubt that God is accepting the Gentiles equally with the Jews. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We read in verse 48. It was the Holy Spirit that inspired the writings of the Bible and guided the writers. And today we have that word in print to guide and inspire us and bring us ever closer to God. And one day, maybe soon, we will be told, your prayers have ascended when God sends out the angels to gather his elect. Mark 13 verse 27. And our godless world is dramatically transformed as our Lord reigns in Jerusalem. As we see in Isaiah chapter 2 verses 2 and 4. And of course by looking at scripture we can see the great promises that are there for us all. Thank you once again for joining us today as we open up the Word of God, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.